I see a lot of grandmaster teachers talk about theory brilliantly, but the how, how did you create that reality? Mm -hmm. What was the process? How exactly did you create that reality? And in this work that we do, now that I've, you know, I've been teaching it 20 years, I've been involved in it now 30 years, right? I've really created into my own at this point where I, I'm, I've made my own statement now with the work. And, but it's based on this work. Mm -hmm. And when performers are working and they are about to work for something, I ask a basic question. Are you even open for this experience to happen? Before you go into the scene. Are you instrumentally open? And why do you ask that question? Just to make sure that I'll they're tell, not. Yeah, I'll tell you they're exactly. Not just phoning in. A couple of reasons. You have a scene. You're in a scene, and you're. It's a uh, a scene of depth, and you're having a, a breakdown. Let's say, you're having a breakdown because your lover left you, and you're out of it. Right? Are you even emotionally open for that to affect you right now? Okay. Or are you numb and shut down, checked out? It says the director says, you know, you know, uh, Michael, this is this is the shot we're looking for. This is all roads in this film lead to this shot. We've got to see that you're a mess here. It's giving you a result direction, right? Actors hate it, but get over it because that's what directors do. Yeah. So you got you, you got it. it. Says it in the you know you you know it's the it, it, this is where you got to deliver, right? You've got to really be as open and as raw as a clam. Are you? even open and ready for that experience to happen. It's called instrumental work. Instrumentally, are you open? If you're not, I'll tell you what's going to happen. You're going to say on some level, oh, sh oh shit, I'm not delivering. And then you're going to push. Then you're going to force. And then you're going to act. Mm -hmm. Because your facility is not even open for maybe this experience right. to happen. So you're having an intellectual experience of how to manufacture that yeah. instead. Yeah. It's, uh, and once you do that, you're done. So... Are you even open? That's instrumental work 101. And there, in the work that we do, there's hundreds. In its origin, there's over a thousand exercise, exercises created, but I've pared them down a lot to, to not nearly that many. Okay. But are you open and available just to approach the scene? Just to approach right. it. Then, if you are, that's great. Now, how are you creating that reality? Right. What's the process of creating that reality? And if you, there are, and uh, what's the how there? And, you know, when you, when you ask that to actors, you know what they say. Well, I was thinking of my ex-boyfriend, girlfriend, lover, my ex-wife, my, thinking about something's not a process. It's a prerequisite to learning how to create it. How do you create that reality? It's, the actor on the other side of the, of, of the table helping you out? Uh, uh, to, and I don't mean that, are they good or not? I right, mean, but is it, are the, the stimulus, yeah. the responses that you're getting from yeah. the experience of having them sitting there helping you engage into that? Right. Is it helping um, you fulfill the material? And if not, how are you, then what do you do? Then what's the process beyond that if the if this available stimulus isn't enough? Just recently I returned back to reading up on some exercises in uh, No Acting Please. How does the cup feel in the hand? What is the texture of the surface of the water? Things like that. And when I first started going through the exercises, I kept stumbling over like, how with the most eloquence possible can I describe the situation? And I, it just hit me like, that's not what this is about at all. <laughs> it's not a mental exercise at all. And it completely is supposed to bypass the brain to yeah. just get into the hard experience. Let me, let me help you there. Sense yeah. memory is, is mistaught and misused a lot. Mm -hmm. A lot, a lot. And I'm going to tell you why, because, um, and when it's given a bad rap, it should be given a bad rap, I think, because it's poorly, poorly taught and, and used. And because of that, actors use it in a very indulgent way a lot. It's, it's, now think about it, sense memory takes place in the senses. Right. All right. So you're asking the senses questions to have, uh, for them to respond. Yeah. Not your brain, Not but your the brain. senses. Right, right, right. Yeah. Right. It's a completely outer, out of your head yeah. experience. Yeah. I didn't get that in, at first. No. no, a lot of actors don't. Because <laughs> you think that you're, everything has to start here. And well, then, and then how about this? It it's all in here. It's mm. all in here. It's all yeah. in here. No. Yeah. No. Your senses react however they react. Yeah. If they're open and receptive, they will react 
That is sense. And if you can create something, now why does sense memory even exist? It exists for one primary reason. It's to create something that is not there, to have an emotional response to something that is not there. Yeah. Now why would you need to do that? Is because whatever is, you're, whoever you're working with isn't enough. Mm-hmm. So let's. Or if you don't even have a, a person there. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And if you are working Green with, an, with an actor, a great example, you're working with an actor and it's, it's a volatile scene. Mm-hmm. You, you have high high level of conflict. You look at the other actor and you're like, I don't really have high level of conflict with it. I like it. We're going out for a beer afterwards. Yeah. Right? We're going out for a drink. We like each other. As a matter of fact, he, we're in the show. His job is the, the, the promotional. My job is the box office. Like, you know what I mean? You, 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 you look at the other actor and you say, I don't really hate him. Mm-hmm. Notice I didn't say the character. You got to learn how to hate the other actor. Mm-hmm. If you could hate the other actor, yeah, then you, you don't have to act. Right. 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 Yeah, it's not about creating some hypothetical and, and, and trying to create a, a new wall in front of that person. It's about no, yeah. creating yeah. a different reality. Exactly. So, you, Mike, you, Michael, you and I are in a scene. Yeah. Right. And we're playing arch nemesis and we're enemies, right? Yeah. We want to kill each other. We hate each other. We don't feel that way towards each other. Yeah. You're going you're gonna to give me maybe two or three. You, Michael, mm-hmm. will give me two, three, four cents out of my buck. Yeah. Right? Right. Let's say you give me five cents. Just okay. you, you well, alone. That's nice. Yeah. A nickel. Okay. Yeah. You give me a nickel out of, out of my yeah. buck. What do I do with the other 95 yeah. cents? Yeah. Right? So a lot of people say, you got to use what's there. And what's there? Well, well, what's there doesn't make me want to kill him. Mm-hmm. It doesn't push that button in me. So you might use sense memory. Um, there's, uh, you, that's just one of many techniques in this work that we use. It's a huge one, a great one. Lee Strasberg, uh, introduced it to uh, us brilliantly and taught it to the world brilliantly. So in this yeah. situation, if you were, you know, you, you needed to see me as your arch nemesis, how would you apply sense memory to make that happen with me? First things first, and that is I'm hell bent on one thing and I'm really hell bent on it is don't jump to sense memory first, second, third, fourth, or fifth. Jump what's in front of you so it forces an involvement of what's in front of you. Okay. So how can I use you, Michael? What parts of you do I could, could I work for in some way that if I work for it, I I could dislike you? Sure. If you need to hate me, just wait until after acting. Yeah, class. maybe <laughs> just give it till Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> just gotta wait. For the day then we'll do this after scene. my class. Yeah. <laughs>